if you are watching this video i want to encourage you that no matter how slow you are going even if you are not seeing results keep pushing and you are going to smash your goal soon hello lovelies and welcome to another episode of chloe Tain's lower abs workout that i've done and i'm sharing with you in today's video these are about 11 different workouts this workout is choose from chloe Tain's eight minutes lower up workout also known as the flat up challenge so i'm going to share with you all the exercises that i need that i did this exercise is very good i do it almost every morning and i repeat each session about three times you have to do this consistently to see any good result out of it as you know you don't do workout about a week and stop and expect to get a result no you have to do it continuously so i've been doing this almost a month now and this workout is really good for the lower abs especially the fupa you know when i say fupa is like a flabby kind of fat that is always like hanging there mostly at the side and also the lower part of it yeah that's what i refer to as fupa and other people to call it fupa and so yeah these are the exercises i'm sharing with you they are all sitting down exercises this one is a no standing up workout very good for the lower abs i like doing challenges and then giving things a go because sticking to one thing mostly is not the best and it will not give you any good results so learning new things and then doing other things to change your routines are very good not sticking to just one workout at all doing variations of workouts is also make it more interesting for you as some people think like workouts are difficult or it's like a punishment it's not it's like just you accepting yourself and then me personally i would say workout is like a therapy to me anytime I that, that i work out my brain feel really good i feel refreshed and then i feel like a lot of energy is in me and it's restored so that's why and the main reason i do my workout almost every time sometimes you do the exercises and you feel like it has not work it's not an instant result you give it time let it go let it flow and then do your workout just forget about seeing results instantly it's not like that it never happens it's not magic you have to give it time as you can see most of these workouts as you, i'm doing it my abs are like crunching and you can see them like squeezing and all that it takes a while to see the results even though you can see physically that like the thing is like you know it's working it's showing you as if the thing is working but you don't see that result there showing instantly until after a few like weeks before you actually see something really showing yeah and so this one i'm doing now is just like a leg raise up and then this one is also similar to like the leg raise but this one you're going to twist it around like turning and then twisting your legs all of this workout it is inside chloe ting's eight minutes up workout that is a flat up challenge so you can give this workout a go it's really good you can see it as if it is just easy and simple but it is not at all until you are doing it yourself you know what i mean if you've done any of chloe ting's challenge you know exactly what i'm talking about they look as if they are easy you think she's just like uh, just having fun but it's not until you put yourself inside her shoes and you do the workout before you realize oh yeah this is really effective this is really working you can feel it sometimes immediately you you finish the first set you're almost very weak because it gets straight into you especially your abs you feel like they are crunching and they are like hurting and all that yeah that's how it works and then you know as i said you give it just time so this one is just like a bit of walking and then you are bringing your knees back in it's crunching your abs that lower abs that you can see the path there is crunching it so well and so this one is just like leg raises but then flipping up like uh towards the head side i think i all the works workout has their names but i just decided not to put it into this one anyway so i will link below the specific exercise that i did and so i'm going to end the talking here and then let the apps do the work and then the body do the rest of the work for you to see how it is this workout is actually really good they are all really good as i said i put it into my routines and then i repeat them almost every time that about three different times that's what i do if you want to get good results make sure you do you repeat every section of workout about three times if i said three times let's say this set of exercise i'm doing right now i do i do it about 30 times and then i repeat that one about three times meaning in total of it i'm going to do about 90 do you do you get what i mean so yeah that's what i'm trying to say that repeat it about three times if you do any sections let's say you raise your leg you bring it back down i count it as a one set that is about 30 times so this one i'm doing at this side i repeat the same thing on the other side when i finish doing the workout and i'm going to repeat this whole thing about three times if you understand what i mean yeah so i hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next video
these exercises may seem very easy but it's not easy at all <laughs> you feel so much pain in your stomach and uh, you feel as if your stomach is being cramped up very very painful <laughs>